Now let's take a look at problem 9, which asks you to assign a grade of A or F to the following proof. And if we're going to give an F, we have to explain exactly everything that is wrong with the structure or the reasoning in the proof. So, the theorem that the student is trying to prove is for all n in the natural numbers, n squared less than or equal to n implies that n plus 1 squared is less than or equal to n plus 1. They start out by saying, suppose that n is a natural number and that n squared is less than or equal to n, because otherwise the proposition is vacuously true. So this seems fine. And they state that we need to show n plus 1 squared is less than or equal to n plus 1. It's always a good, good form to restate the thing that you're trying to prove, and they've done that, so that's good. Now, working backwards, there's the problem, actually. If you look at how they're doing this proof, they're trying to show that P implies Q. In this case, P is the statement, so P of n is the statement that n squared is less than or equal to n, and Q of n is the statement n plus 1 squared is less than or equal to n plus 1. What they want to show is that P of n implies Q of n. What we have for proof techniques from the notes, we know that we can either go P implies Q. Equivalently, we can do not Q implies not P, which is the contraposition. We can also use contradiction, which is not P implies something crazy like 10 equals 15, which we all know is false. Or we can prove by cases, which is essentially a repeated version of any of these. However, this proof is actually going from Q to P, which is proving the converse. And we know from the truth tables that the converse is not equivalent to the original proposition. So this proof flows from Q to P, and that just doesn't work because proving the converse is not equivalent to proving the original proposition. Sometimes when you're trying to prove something, it can be useful to work things out in the direction of Q to P, and then carefully flip them so that it actually flows P to Q. You have to be careful when you flip it and make sure that all of your steps actually still work, but sometimes it can be really useful to figure out which steps you should take and in which order um, by working from Q to P. But your final solution, the only valid solution, is something that is equivalent from, to going from P to Q. So in this case, the student went from Q to P, they showed the converse, but they did not show um, they did not prove the original proposition. So just from that, they have to receive an F on this proof because they did not use a valid proof technique. The other issue, which is a bit more minor, is that in the middle here, they said n squared plus 2n is less than or equal to n, and then they follow to the next statement where n squared is less than or equal to n. They did this by saying 2n has to be a positive value because n is a natural number strictly greater than zero or sorry strictly non-negative which means you can subtract it off and this is true however especially when the proofs are this short you really need to justify every single step in this proof and so a 100 percent correct proof would have said we can take off 2n because we know that it is always a positive amount so the main issue with this proof is that it flows from q to p and it doesn't use any of the other valid proof techniques. It's proving the converse instead. However, there's also this stylistic issue where they're not fully justifying every single one of their steps. And for short proofs like this, you really need to do that.